Hey, welcome. Today, a Messianic prophecy at Zechariah 9, verse 9. Listen up. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Hey, horses are used for war. They're used for chariots. They're used for battle and conquering. Here's the king. When a king comes to rule benevolently, he comes, he comes on a donkey. He comes on a lowly donkey. And that's how Jesus entered the city. And right here at Zechariah 9, verse 9, through his servant Zechariah, God implants this prophecy into the scripture. He's inscripturating the prophecy. Later, when Jesus enters Jerusalem, he's going to ride in on a donkey. And so it's interesting how right here is a spot where God puts it. And it's interesting where he puts it. He puts it back here in this part of the book, the positive part, you know, after all the punishment and those oracles, and now it's, uh, it's going to be uh, the punishment's over, we're out of exile, now I'm going to build up my people again. This is the spot that he puts in the part about the coming of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. He comes in on the humble donkey into his, into his abode. And so right here, it's interesting where it's placed in the prophecy of Zechariah. Jesus comes to be a peaceful ruler. He's going to be benevolent to his people. There's coming a time when there'll be no more military fortifications. Everything will be right with God and behind me, something like this. That'll all be something in the past, something we don't ever think about anymore. He's the Prince of Peace. He comes to rule on a throne of peace. The hostility we see in our world today, we won't need to see that ever again. It's going to be gone forever. Zacharias says that the Messiah is going to come and he's going to be a giver of true justice. He'll be righteous. He's just and having salvation. Often we see in the Old Testament this word salvation is translated deliverance. He's the one that is the deliverer. People think that somehow God can't give you victory over your besetting sins. They haven't read enough uh, back here in the inspired words in this Old Testament. God is at heart a deliverer. When he comes, he's just. And of course, we know from what we read earlier in Zechariah that his justice is always tempered. It's justice that includes mercy. It's justice that includes this benevolent, patient side. And so God longs for you and I to come to him. He is a just God, not just just in terms of absolute a stern-lipped justice, but he's there in love and mercy, always always coming, always seeking to bring us back, get us to return. So God finishes what he begins. He implants these prophetic markers, and then later, Jesus is going to come into Jerusalem, just as prophesied. And Jesus is still our king. He's coming. He's our coming king. You know, whatever you think about governments and things happening today in the, in the secular political world, you know, you really, as a Christian, you and I really are monarchists. We believe that Jesus, he, he is our king. We believe in him as our king. We're looking forward to the return of our king. And so we want to keep that in mind. We actually are on that kind of a plan. Very different, very different. You know, you get a, a good president, a bad president, a good president, a bad president, or maybe some people say, you know, mostly bad president, bad president, bad president. But Jesus is going to be the ruler forever and he will be just and merciful and kind. He is in essence love. The Bible called him 1 John 4, 8, God is love. And we know that's what Jesus is. And he's going to be our king. And so remember, or whatever your relation to the governments of the world and you're thinking about all that is, we as Christians, uh, kind of in a sense, you know, we're monarchists. We're waiting for the coming king. Keeping this viewpoint clear in our minds helps us to remember which kind of culture we are advocating, which kind of thing we're doing. Are we for the culture of consumerism and dissipation? Or are we for the culture of selflessness, unselfishness, and goodness? Let's keep in track. Let's not, not lose track of what we're doing here in this world at this time. Our king came riding on a, a little, on a donkey, but he's coming as the conquering king next. And there's a lot of things that need to be set right. He's going to set them right. And it'll be pretty enduring eternity. Let's get our, let's get our values straight right now. Jesus is coming soon. Mm -hmm.